Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you're here. So it's a beautiful morning because it's nice and cool. Uh, it's been very warm here. Very warm. Unexpectedly warm. <laughs> like 90 during the day. Um, I don't enjoy the 90s. And I usually plan my van life travels. Uh as to not experience 90s, um, but it's 90s and I'm here. And fortunately, it's manageable. And I think the reason it's manageable is because um, I am traveling in the van, but I also have a home base because I'm visiting my daughter. If I was out on the road um, and it was 90 every day, I would be relocating. I would be relocating. But what I have here in this situation with my daughter is that I have, I can leave the van and I can go in her place. And so I'm not in, in, in a warm vehicle all day or outside of it in, in the hot, in the heat. <laughs> so I've been trying to manage my electricity. So, you know, I'm just figuring it all out. I've never had um, solar on the roof that was out and exposed all the time. I've always had the portable ones that I intentionally put out. And uh, so what I need to wrap my head around is that um, I only have half the solar I had before. Those portable solar panels that I had were 200 watts each so there was a total of 400 so a lot more was coming in at one time than with 200 double <laughs> so before I left on this trip I had no idea how much I was going to collect how much I was going to need um, how my percentage was going to look how how much I was going to be able to store um, how fast it was going to charge. I had no idea. And, and also driving the car, putting it on the car battery, didn't know any, all I knew is I, I was just leaving. I just, I just know, I just know that I just need to figure it out. Like, even though right now I'm not storing well and, uh, I, perhaps I'm not managing it well. I like, I just really don't know yet and I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out and it will all, it will work out because I know it will work out because it always works out. <laughs> always works out. Everything always works out at the end. Look at me. I have bedhead. <laughs> I was thinking about growing the hair out or at least attempting it, but I think I've changed my mind. I think it has to go for three reasons. I want to get the buzz cut again for three reasons. First of all, it's maintenance. I find myself, I have to wet my hair in the morning and comb it so that I get rid of bedhead. Um, so it's just so much easier to have no hair. So much easier. Uh, another reason is, is <laughs> my hair is so thick. It's given me height that I cannot afford when I sit on that cooler and cook <laughs> because my hair is hitting... I think that if the hair was gone, it would give me like another half inch. So I think I'm going to uh, cut it off for one of that reason. But the most the most important reason why I think I'm going to get another buzz is because I love the way I look with a buzz. I just think it's really cool. I think it's very, very feminine. Uh, I feel exceptionally beautiful when I have a buzz because... I just like it. I just think it's really cool. So I'll be getting that soon. So a lot of people have asked me why I'm not plugging into my daughter's house, plugging in the, uh, my, with the extension cord. Um, she's in an apartment. So she's like, I'm in a parking lot. And she's just like down this big hall, up a few stairs, down a corridor, about five doors. I can't, I can't plug in to her her uh, her place. 
Um, I also can't carry in the Blue Eddy to charge it because it's too heavy. It's 60 pounds. I, I can't carry that. When I take it from the garage out to the driveway to put it in my van, I have to put it on a dolly <laughs> because it's too heavy for me. Um, so perhaps with my setup that I had before with the 400 watt panels that always kept this charged up, um, but I needed to babysit those. I needed to put them out. They're heavy. They were they're 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 heavy to pick up and set up. Um, they're because they're two hundred watts each. They're not two little light things. Um, and I would I would put them out, and then I would be tied to my van for the day. I mean, I've got like a thousand dollars worth of solar panels sitting outside my van. I'm not going to go for a walk. I'm not going to go into the ladies' room at the beach. You know, so you basically you know, um, bound to the, to the van. And I really enjoy just, I leave the van for the day. If my daughter and I are doing something and I come back and I've generated electricity, maybe only half of what I was doing before, but I don't want to, I don't want to work with portable solar panels anymore. I've decided. So, um, I'm thinking Perhaps the solution to this issue may be for me to go to um, a smaller power station. Instead of a 2,000 watt, I could have a 1,000 watt. Um, you know, and I'm also projecting right now that there's a problem because uh, just because it's low, it's on like, tw right now I think it's on like 28%. But I'm, I'm still, every time I need to use it, it's it's working. Now, let me tell you one um, one way I did take advantage of being at my daughter's. I can't plug in to her, and I can't bring my power station in there and charge it. But one thing I could do, which is what I did, was I took my ice blocks, I put them in her freezer, and I shut my fridge down. So... Uh, I believe if I if I was on the road and I couldn't do that, I believe I would st I would still be able to um, run it. It's just I'm hovering low, and I and I want to know I, I got to figure out how I can hover high. How can how can I? And you know, a couple of you have left me comments with the answer. It's every few days you need to go figure out how you're going to plug in. So I don't I think that that's what it, people that don't have, you know. 800 watts of solar on the roof that are generating a ton of electricity, I think perhaps that's what they're doing. So it's like if you're on the road, every maybe third or fourth day, instead of stealth parking, you go to a campground with an electric and you plug in. So perhaps that's the answer. But I also think that, you know, I, maybe I don't need a power station this big. If I had a, a thousand watt one, I'd still be able to run my tea kettle because that's about 800 watts, that tea kettle. Um, and it would keep me, and it would also be light enough that I could carry it in places. It would be a lot lighter. It would still be heavy, but it would be a lot lighter so I could carry it in places and, um, and charge it up. So that might be the solution. A, a, a lot of you have asked me about, hey, what's up with the switch when you drive? And you, so let me tell you what I did. <laughs> I when I stop my car and I have the switch up so it's charging from the battery, I look at the display and it looks like it's taking in about the same amount of watts as the solo was just before I sw flipped the switch. So for some reason, I thought it was going to be I was going to be generating a lot more from the car battery than from the solar panels, but I guess I was wrong. I don't know anything about electricity really, and I don't know about car batteries, but I don't know whether it's my, my you know, this car is like a little four cylinder thing. It's not this big, powerful uh, vehicle, you know? So I'm wondering if that's why, maybe the battery for my van, it's just such a little tiny, tiny van that it's not strong. So it, it gives me, it's 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 charging me, so it's great. So if it's cloudy, or if it's rainy, or if it's dark, 
um, and I'm driving, then I'm going to flip that switch. So I was wondering, I was, I had this idea cause I don't know anything about electricity and batteries and stuff, but I thought, I wonder when I'm driving, like when I'm accelerating, I'm wondering if I'm generating more than when it's just idling. Hmm. I wonder. And I thought, how can I know that? Because I'm driving while I do it. So you know what I did? <laughs> I set my tripod up with the camera and I put it, set it up right on the display. And then I went and drove. And, um, I, I, what I did was as I was driving, I was announcing out loud to get it in the recording on the camera. I was saying, uh, okay, right now I'm going 30 miles an hour. Right now I'm going 40 miles an hour. Right now I'm going 60 miles an hour. So I could see at that point if, if it was going up. So then I, I watched the video and it doesn't change. It stays the same. And it's really right around the same watts that I take in from the solar panels. So I don't know if that's normal or if there's something wrong. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. All I know is that not once have I ran out of electricity. Um, there's a solution for everything. Like I said, I took in, I, I just shut my fridge down. But I know when I'm on my way back home, my fridge is going to run. It's not like, oh, what am I going to do? I don't have my daughter's fridge anymore. And my my power is a problem because it's not a problem. I have I have all the power that I've needed. I have never run out. But I don't know if it's really healthy for the battery to be hovering around 20% kind of thinking it needs to be higher and um so I need to just figure out a plan on I, I need to know more about what what's best for the battery I need to know what's going to work best for my situation um and what's the what you know how should I be using the uh the, the car battery versus the solar um go into a campground and plug it in every few days. You know, so it's it's like there's, there's solutions to everything. So I'm not even concerned about it. I can't fit more than 200 watts of solar on my roof. I can't. It's that see, I'm maxed out. I've got a little itty bitty teeny weeny camper van. But I know that 200 watts of solar would really keep um, a power station charged up that was half the size of the one I have. And if it was half the size of the one I have, it would still be able to meet my needs. So that seems like the way to go. And of course, I get tons of emails from companies that want me to promote their products. And I haven't accepted one yet. And many of them are power stations. So I'm thinking maybe I'll grab one of those. Tell somebody to send me a 1000 watt. Uh, the only, the only reason I don't want to do that is because then I need to, uh, I need to talk about it. I need to, there'll be rules around it. Like I'll need to talk about it for th at least three minutes. I have to mention it in a video for five videos, I have to at least mention it. Uh, I don't know if they would give me like a script of what I should say, like about all of its all of its specifications. I don't want to do that. I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to make videos, whatever I want to do, whatever I want to talk about. I want to talk about, I don't want a script. Sometimes I write myself a note so I can remember things that I, I want to, uh, talk about and mention in, in, for a video. And then I forget to look at the notes. So like, I don't even, I can't even follow my own, like, you know, what the things that I really wanted to talk about, I forget. I just need to just whatever, I need to turn the camera on, whatever, whatever comes out is what comes out. Um, in fact, I turned this camera on right now with a, a whole different subject in mind 
and I, I haven't even touched on it. So I guess that will be a separate video. So it turned out to be an electric video. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out if that is my solution. Perhaps I'll talk to Bill when I get home and ask him what he thinks uh, would be uh, the best solution for the health of my battery and that would meet my needs. And that's uh, the most practical way, all considering, you know, how much I can lift um, and how I travel and stuff. So perhaps they'll do that. But it's all, you know, everything always works out at the end. It always works out. So there's not even a little bit of a reason for me to just start wigging out about, oh, oh, I put that solar up. It's not even enough. What am I going to do? It's like, no, you know something? Just be like water. Just go with the flow. Go with the flow. <laughs> Bye for now.